Hello everyone. Hi, I'm at home. And today uh, is the 18th uh, of July. And the time is 7.31 p.m. Now this video, I know I haven't uh, put out a video in a long time. So um, this video is not going to be that long. But it's a video to show a person that sent me a comment. And they asked me uh, that they just started watching my videos. And they wanted me to demonstrate how I start uh, my sweaters off as a scarf. Like I start... Uh, I initially make a scarf and then I create the sweater from a scarf so I really don't share a whole lot of information about how I do this I'm kind of like do a lot of freestyle uh, crocheting I use other people as inspiration to inspire me to create new ideas of how I'm going to crochet um, I mainly use a, a half double crochet I use other crochet techniques uh, styles and, but I mainly stick to half double crochet. So that's my favorite one to do. But I'm going to show you how I do. Um, I use my scrap yarn a lot of times. Or if I have hats left over that didn't sell at my shows. I'll take those down and I'll repurpose them into a sweater. Um, so I'm going to show you this. Uh, one scarf that I would just use on my scrap yarn and I was just making something funky and freestyling like I always do so look uh, oh her name is I don't know how to say her first name but his last name is Henderson so Henderson this video is for you so um, okay now this is a bunch of just scrap yarn that I just um, was just using a uh, and just sitting here a little while ago and I will just just see the combo of colors and how the colors connect and whatever and I'll just later on use this piece from using all my little scrap balls and create a sweater from this little piece okay after you like make a long uh, like you're making a scarf or infinity scarf if you made an infinity scarf or you got projects left over, you can use those those scarves and you can create a sweater from that. So what I do, this will be to either you can say, okay, I want this to be start out as a cardigan, and okay, I'm going to uh, start this out the opening of the card cardigan. You can say that, right? You can say this could be the opening of the cardigan. So this is one side of cardigan, but you gotta remember, uh how many stitches that you use in that strip if you did it once so you can do the exact same one on that one but I didn't do I'm not doing that with this one but I'm just using telling you an example of how you can do and you just keep you connect these two like make a um, a chain across here and then you just start a crocheting in around to create the sleeve and then once you get to where how you want the sleeve to look then you start going down and then you start in the back you start crocheting across to make the panel in the back you can make separate panels or I do just a continuous crochet once I get one side done I do a continuous crochet uh, but this one right here is actually going to be the collar of the sweater like a drapey neck sweater okay so what I will do I will connect these two together right and then I will start uh, how wide I want the sweater to be. Now, if I want it to be like out here to start the shoulder blade, the, the arm of the shoulder, I will crochet a chain out to about where I want it to be. And I will do the exact same thing on that side. And remember to write your notes down because you want to know how many chains that you did on each side so the sweater won't be all wonky and wop -sided. So I'll do that and then I will start to just crochet um, just back and forth like you normally would crochet you know or uh, what I would do is just start crocheting round and around and around and around and around once I made that chain and around and around until I got to where I wanted the shoulder blade to do. You can do it that way 
the other first one I show you make the chain then the crochet it going down but I will just uh, with this one I will just keep going around and around and around I'm just doing the front panel and around and around and around and I will stop probably at my bus you know about right there and then I will start with um, the, uh, the back and I will do the back in the same way and then I will uh, put a chain around so I can make the armholes and then I will start going around and around and around uh, if that makes sense to you I might just do a straight video where you can watch me do it but that's going to be a long process on a lot of uh, video because uh, when I'm when I'm freestyling something I'm not as I don't crochet as fast because sometimes I, I try it on or try it on my mannequin to see if I like it if I don't like it I take it down but that's what I do so what you can do like make a scarf and drape the scarf on you any way that you want uh, how you want to start the, the, uh, the style of the sweater you know if I wanted to start the sweater like off the shoulders that means that uh, it was long enough it's not long enough that's why I decided to make it like I'm doing a cow uh, sweater a uh, um, cow yeah a, a cow scarf sorry a cow scarf and then um, I will just go around and around but I make sure I put like some uh, little pins right there so I can know where to stop I'll be like okay that's my shoulder blade and right here and I won't put one pin right there one pin right there and I keep going around and around and around and around and around and um, one thing about how this is you gonna because you're gonna have to um, if you wanted if I wanted to drape like this I have to increase so I have to put like two and two double crochet and one, one double crochet and, and another one so it could be longer so I can have that drape if I'm making sense to you because that's what I do sometimes but I, I kind of feel my way through when I'm freestyling otherwise it probably if you don't do it that way it'll just be like this you know uh, even though you know I will I can make that happen if it's like that and I can uh, but I kind of like to have it draped a little bit so I'm going to show you when I start on this I'll show you what I'm going to do with that but that's what I do that's how I start like sometimes like I say I always have like scrap yarn and I just want to see the color combo and if I like the color combo I will keep it and this is a knitted I mean crochet after a crochet and it's like a yellow and a cream so either I can have this in the middle have this like in the middle and um, have like rest of this going across and then start to arm make it a um, big square going across or I start on each end I have it going this way so, I have it going this way okay but it's kind of long and it don't land under my arm so I have to go like this like this and make it start out as a, a circle going around like a circle connect them and then connect it like a, like a cow and then start building see then you start with the straps coming up to connect and do the back panel exactly the same way um so i'll count how many stitches this is a totally freestyle one that actually is supposed to be a purse it's supposed to be a little girl's little purse so but the these are little pieces that i make sometimes sometimes i knit pieces and this is uh, knit. I don't knit all the time, but uh, sometimes I do knit, and I incorporate crochet and knitting together. So this could be a panel for something. But I'm looking inside my uh, band of projects that I have started on, um, like I did my apple hats and stuff that I didn't finish. I think I'm gonna put little brims on apple hats. I want them to be a little different. They don't like for toddlers. But, you know, these are look bigger, so they can be like for a bigger kid or something, you know. Um, 
So I kind of like all these little projects inside of this bin and whenever I want to start, finish, uh, start on something. I got my little sweater dresses and stuff that I started on and I want to finish these, you know, these little sweater dresses and stuff. So, um, I have a lot of sweater dresses that I'll start on. Just uh, little halter tops that I have to finish and complete. I have slippers and stuff. And okay, this is a big, this is a good project to show you guys also. Okay, let me show you this one. This is cool to be a sweater. Now, uh, this right here, these colors. I, at first, I didn't. I, it's supposed to be like a shawl or something, but it ended up being just a big piece of fabric that I put on and just didn't turn out like I wanted it to. Do. So, what I will do now, I will create a sweater for this. Now, either I can go asymmetrical, you know, make a um, poncho with one arm, um, or this could be the front panel to a long, uh, sweater, yep, the front panel to a long sweater, or the back, or the back to a cardigan, long cardigan sweater, you know, so, and you just have to make the arms, I have to make the arms. So you know how to make the arms, but I'm going to show you when this is done uh, how I'm going to make a cardigan from this because I did one of my other sweaters. It was a it's a full length maxi sweater. So this can be like just just make just make a scarf, just make a long scarf, and like I said, like I did the other one, and you. Uh, drape it on yourself or your mannequin and then you just create the panels and you start making going around and around but I'm going to, it's probably kind of hard for you to imagine starting making a sweater starting it out as a scarf and then creating a sweater from it but I'm trying to give you the idea of what I was talking about by showing you that first one that I just showed you how I did that and then I said make the front panel shade the front panel going down just do a continuous don't make like a whole lot of separate little pieces because I know when I do like a whole lot of little separate little pieces I take longer to finish it so but I'm going to like this is supposed to be something totally different but I'm going to create um, a card a long sweater card again with this one this one I'm going to do because I didn't think about it until just now what I was going to do with it but that's what I want to do and that other one, that scarf the one I just showed you, um, the, I'm trying to find a way, over here, this one. I told you how I'm going to do this. And I'm going to crochet back and forth, back and forth to make that front panel. And I'm going to do the same thing with the back panel. And then once I make the front and the back panel, just imagine the front and the back panel now. And then you uh, crochet the sides together. Yeah, crochet the sides together. Once you make the front and back panel, crochet the sides together. And like you're sewing, get your uh, little crochet needle out and sew it together. And then you start doing your arms in around and around and around. So you can make the sweater as long as you want. This will probably be a pretty long sweater with splits on the side that you can wear with jeans or leggings or something, you know. So this is what this will be. And I probably will pull out, I'll make it like multiple colors, or pull out one of the colors that I like. That because I don't have any more of this yarn, so I have to pull out a color that I like the most to dom to to um, be the dominant color. Okay. So I hope you follow me and understand. How I'm explaining this, how I do it. So. Um. But I'll try to shoot you out another video to show you, to demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about. I'll probably do the whole front panel of this 
so you can see oh uh, because i'm not going to do like a long video i'll probably just do the whole front panel and do the back panel and then show you okay and i'll talk to you soon god bless Bye bye